welcome back to my channel. My name is Kelly Yeager and today we are doing a full Lululemon haul, specifically a fall haul. I have so many items to go over between asking what you wanted to see on my Instagram and already having a lot of items that I wanted to try and items that I've tried on Instagram but haven't included on here. There was a lot. So sit back, relax. We've got lots of tops and lots of bottoms and some accessories, which I was excited to get to. And honestly, were some of the most requested items that you wanted to see. So we are gonna get right on into it and start with the tops. First item up is one that I have a bunch of, but I wanted to one try this new cheetah pattern. I thought this was so cute. The white paired it with the graphite gray. I thought that looked really cute. I think you can pair this with a lot of different bottoms. I also wanted to try a size eight in the flow Y bra because I've only ever had sixes and I feel like the sixes have always been a little bit tight on me. This obviously has a little bit of a thicker band than something like the free to be wild, which I love. And I've had a lot of you say that you size up in them and that you really liked that. I think now, especially breastfeeding, the size eight fits me a lot better. It's not digging in. Obviously my rib cage got a little bit wider while being pregnant as well. So had to snag this. Flow Y bra, definitely not new. They've had this for a long time, but the new loom material is very soft. Great yoga bra or training. Um, just keep in mind that it is a lower support bra. So if you're very busty, obviously this doesn't, the straps don't offer a ton of support. They have a lot of other bras that would offer you more support. But this for day-to-day -day yoga or light training, I think would be great. Next item up, I was so excited to try. A lot of you have said that you've loved this. This is the Instill Tank. I love the Instill Tights that I have. It is their newer smooth cover fabric. So very, very buttery soft, but once again, offers a little bit more support. And I feel like it almost feels like there's a little bit more spandex material in there. It's very stretchy. So yeah, I love the leggings. I wanted to try the tank top and I always get nervous when there's racer backs that have this thicker back part. I don't like when it cuts into my lats or it goes over my shoulder blades. This did not do that at all. I stuck with my regular size six. This has the built-in bra. Absolutely love it. I like the little square neck. This offers more coverage than obviously the Align Tank does. And I thought this color in particular was perfect for the fall and can be paired with so much. So the last time I tried their, what is it? The Align Waist Length Tank Top, it kind of has that same curve to it where it like kind of is supposed to hug your hips or your waist. This one I feel like has that a little bit, but it doesn't flare out like the Align one did. I personally wasn't a huge fan of that because it did kind of flare out off of my hips. This one I thought fit very flattering and you still have that really simple look. And I'm always a fan of tops that have a built-in bra because it's a one-stop shop, hence why I live in the Align Tanks. So I definitely see myself snagging a lot more of these. I think this is a great option for those of you who like the idea of the Align Tank, but you want a little bit more coverage. This would be great. Next item up is one that I have reviewed already on my Closet by Kel account, and I absolutely loved it. I have this in two colors, the pastel blue and the lemon sorbet. This is the modal fleece pullover. So soft, stretchy, comfortable, like the perfect, just lounging around running errands in the fall. It's not too thick to where you're gonna get too hot wearing it around the house or outside. I feel like it is the perfect thickness. The sleeves are actually this ribbed like cotton material and then the actual like torso part of it is more of that fleece and softer material on the inside. I don't know how well you can see that. I was really impressed with this. I got the lemon sorbet color first tried it on and immediately placed an order for the pastel blue when this launched because I'm a huge fan of pastels. And like I said, when I first tried this on, I, I even said on my story, I'm like, this might be my favorite pullover that they've ever come out with because it is so soft. So although the pastel blue is not necessarily fall vibes, the Prosecco color, or I do think the lemon sorbet, if you pair that with some of like the brown tones or the olive greens, I think that could be super cute because it's neutral enough. You can kind of pair it with anything. Um, but I stuck with my size six. It is an oversized fit. Next item up, I was hoping I was gonna like it as much as the modal fleece pullover and I don't, but it's mainly because of the color because <sighs> wow, is that really bright. So many of you said you wanted me to review this. This is the perfectly oversized cropped crew in the neon wash. They had it in this green color and then in a bright yellow. And I figured what the heck, I'll try the green. Who knows? I got my size six. It fits really well. All of the perfectly oversized items are that 
um, like terry cloth material on the inside. So rather it be, being that like fleecy cotton material, it is, or like that fleecy like fuzz material on the inside, it is more of that like towelish material. Still comfortable. This is definitely thicker than that one. So I feel like I would get a little bit warmer in this, or this would be something you'd wear when it's a little bit cooler outside. I have a ton of the perfectly oversized items. I have the full length crew and the cropped crew and I love them. Um, but a lot of you said you wanted to see this. So here it is. This color is not necessarily for me. I'm not a like neon person. However, pastels, if this was in like a nice pastel green, I would love it. This is just a little too bright for me. However, the overall fit and it's, I'm not surprised because this is like my ideal sweatshirt. It's long enough to where your stomach isn't really showing. It's also light enough weight to where you can wear it around the house and not get too warm. It's the perfect like to and from pullover in my opinion. This color is the only downfall for me. It is just, it's a lot, but I know neon is really making a comeback. So if you're someone who loves neon, they have this in this beautiful green color and a like highlighter yellow. Next up, we have the Soft Stream Pocketed Hoodie. I have already reviewed this on the Closet by Kel account, but I wanted to also include it in here because I had a lot of you ask me to. <laughs> this is only available in a lemon sorbet color and in the graphite gray. You've heard me say I love the lemon sorbet color because it's really close to being white without being like full white where you're too wear too worried to wear it. So I love this. I thought this was really nice. It obviously has the big hood. It has more of an oversized fit to it. The cuffs are that ribbed cotton material and then the rest of it is that soft stream material which has that like peach fuzz feel. I've always been a big fan of their soft stream items. I always think they're very comfortable and it's like that silky smooth material on the inside. So perfect for lounging around. And once again, this color I feel like can just kind of pair with anything and it's different. I have so many black and dark sweatshirts. So I felt like this was a great opportunity to get a light one without it being fully white and me being paranoid to wear it. I did get a size six. I did just look, they still have some of these in stock. Um, the graphite gray I believe is sold out already. Next item up, we are getting into more of the like fall, like deep into fall slash winter items. But once again, they had them in stock and last year I struggled to get my hands on these once we were actually into the winter months and I was doing winter hauls. So we have the Wonder Puff cropped vest. I love my Wonder Puff long jackets. I have two of them. I first got an olive green one, probably two years ago, maybe three. And then I got the, no, two. I don't know. And then I got the black one last year and I absolutely loved it. It's like an oversized puff coat. Like the puffiness of it makes it look bigger, but the jacket itself is more oversized. So it's not restricting when you're moving your arms, you can easily layer sweatshirts and pullovers underneath and it's not gonna get too tight. That is the main reason I love it so much. And it's so soft and comfortable and warm. So I was super excited to try the vest and I thought the cropped length was very flattering on the website. So I was excited to try it. Even though it is oversized, it does have these little cinch draw cords at the bottom. So you can cinch it to give it a more fitted look, but I absolutely love this. It is mid warmth on their website or that's what it's listed as. It is definitely warmer, but obviously it's gonna kind of depend on what you put under it because it does not have sleeves. <laughs> but I thought this was super cute. It has the really big hood, just like the other coats do. And then it has the buttons up here so you can have it around your neck up high. The zippers and the buttons go all the way up. You have the zipper pocket on the inside and the two deep zipper pockets on the front that have the fleece lining in there. So this is fantastic. I was struggling to get my hands on this last year and this was probably the item I was most excited for. As well as the other jacket, I have the long one, which once again, I love. These you can actually dress up and make a little bit cuter. I did have a bunch of people reach out or asked me to review it in a way like as if I were still pregnant or if this would have fit me while I was pregnant. And the answer is, I don't know if it would have fit me at the very end, but I was wearing my Wonder Puff long jacket this last winter when I was pregnant. And it was the only jacket that fit over my belly because it does have more of that oversized fit. These fit the same, the vest and the cropped jacket. They both have more room, way more room in the waist than 
the other jackets I have and the other jackets I've tried. So I do think this would be great for pregnancy. I just don't know like if I don't know if it would have fit me at the very end. I doubt I would have been able to zip it up. But I wore my Wonder Puff long coat throughout all last winter and that was the only jacket that could still comfortably zip over the belly. I guess we will move on to the cropped jacket version since we just talked about the vest. Fits very similar. It fits just like my long coat except it's a cropped version. So it has the spacer material cuff that's really stretchy that sits right inside. So it keeps you nice and warm. Same thing, really big hood, got the size six. You can obviously tell it has an oversized fit throughout the waist going with the whole. It is great for if you do have a pregnant belly. Once again, was the only jacket that really fit me. Um, and then it has that same pocket on the inside. So I now have the long coat, the vest, and the cropped jacket. And I think, I mean, I love my long one for when it's really cold, but I think these cropped items are very flattering. They both have the cinch around the waist, so they are cropped. If you do want to tighten it, you can do that on both of them. So super happy with these, very excited. I was able to get my hands on them. Hopefully they stay in stock for a while, but I wanted to include them in here. So at least I have the review up and you can reference back whenever you're in the market for new puff coats. Last but definitely not least for the tops, this is an item I probably wouldn't have tried if it weren't for you asking. This is the always effortless long jacket. I've tried the always effortless regular jacket, the shorter version, and I liked it. It was really nice. So this is just the longer version. And I really have no coats like this, <laughs> so I wasn't sure what to expect. I wasn't sure if I was going to like it. Um, it has the draw cords at the bottom. It has the hood in the back that just snaps in, so it's really easy to take in and out. I kept it in when I was trying it on, but it's super lightweight, which I think is really nice. So definitely great for the fall. Obviously the Wonder Puff items, that is a winter item. I think this would be perfect for the fall months though, where going in between summer and winter and you're not looking for a super heavy jacket, but you want enough coverage. So I liked this a lot. It has this big breathable back with the mesh down there. And then in general, this is an oversized fit like the always effortless jacket. It's just once again, the longer version. All of Lululemon's jackets have these big deep pockets, which I always really appreciate because I always carry around way too much stuff with me. Moving on to bottoms, I was really excited to try these and a lot of you asked me to review them. These are the Base Pace High Rise Short 6 inch in this beautiful red color. I absolutely love them. Growing up in Ohio, going to Ohio State, anything red I'm a sucker for. I have tried the Base Pace leggings and I like them more than I thought I would. I'm not normally someone who likes higher impact or like higher compression leggings. So these are a good in-between because it offers a more compressive waistband and more support throughout the waistband. My dog is just, what are you doing? <laughs> You get more support throughout the waistband and it has the draw cord up there, so they're great for high impact workouts, but the legs themselves offer a lot lower compression, which I personally like, so they're more comfortable to wear all day long. And these ones actually have the little silicone gripper on there, so they stay in place really well. I'm already a huge fan of six inch shorts in general. I actually have the Align six inch shorts on right now. I feel like it's the perfect length to where they're not too long, where you feel like you're wearing a long biker short, but they're also long enough Enough, so they're not riding up a ton and you feel like you have to adjust them kind of how I feel like with four inch and shorter They just tend to not stay in place very well six inch stays in place. Great. These fit wonderfully I did stick with my size six in all of the higher compression Bottoms so these shorts I got a size six and in the one of the pairs of leggings You're gonna see whereas I normally wear size fours in the aligned shorts and in aligned pants just because once again They're lower compression because I'm still whatever two months postpartum. <laughs> size sixes are fitting me a lot better. I liked these a lot, very comfortable. And once again, the red color is fantastic. But my favorite thing about these shorts is definitely the silicone grippers on the inside. Those are fantastic. Next pair up is another item that I probably would not have tried if it weren't for you asking me. These are part of their hiking collection. They launched pullovers, shirts, leggings, tighter shorts, and then these looser shorts. These are the drop-in pocket high-rise hiking short four inch. I am not a hiker, so I can't really put these to the test to say how great they're gonna be but they have these pockets with the little buttons and just reading off of the tag, they have, says they have a locker loop for easy hanging, clip for a carabiner in the front D-ring, all things I don't know. Um, <laughs> I would not put those to use. However, these 
are very cute, but once again, just tried them because a lot of you wanted to see what they looked like on. I do think they're cute. Um, and if you are a hiker, it seems like they have a lot of the details that you'd be looking for. Um, and then obviously the colors are super fun. Next pair up, I was so excited to try because I'm a big fan of their like day-to-day -to, -day to and from items. These seemed perfect to kind of dress up but still be super comfortable. These are the flat front relaxed short four inch. Obviously a four inch inseam, they offer the high waistband and there's no like tie or anything. Thing. So it just lies seamlessly along your waist, which I like. And then it has the like rouged detail on the back. They obviously have the little like side pockets and they are very good size, just like all of theirs are. And it has that linen look to it, which is beautiful. I love shorts like this. And then the waistband is actually that Nulu material that I love. So these were super comfortable. Size six fit wonderfully. And I think these are going to be definitely a staple for me to dress up throughout the fall. White long sleeve, maybe a little bodysuit underneath. It's still gonna stay warm here in Ohio for a while. So I'm excited to still be able to wear these and then definitely wear them a bunch next summer. Moving on to leggings, we have the Wonder Train High Rise Tight 25 inch with a pocket. So I've tried the Wonder Trains in shorts and leggings. Um, I've never tried their pocket leggings before. So I figured they were gonna fit similar, but a lot of you said you wanted me to review these. I think this color is beautiful, perfect going into fall. My biggest thing with the Wonder Trains is that it is more of that like hugged sensation. So they're definitely a little bit more compressive than something like an Align pant which is what I wear a lot of. I have them in like every single color they've ever come out with. Um, but these are obviously going to be much better for high impact workouts. It's their Everlux material, which is their fastest drying material. So they are perfect for high impact workouts and circuits, which I personally like to wear them for, um, or cardio. I'll wear the shorts a lot on the Stairmaster because they are just very breathable. You can tell they dry very quickly. And I'm a sweaty mess on the Stairmaster. But because these are made for more of that high impact training, they have the draw cord in there. They have a little pocket in the back. The nice thing about these, I feel like these are a more flattering high impact workout pant because the top or the front part of the waistband still offers that seamless look where it just lays right against your stomach. There's no stitching at the top. And then the back has that extra stitching to help it stay in place a little bit better and give you more of that support. And then obviously if you're someone who likes pockets, you would love these, but they do have the Wonder Train as just like a plain 25 inch legging. Um, if you would maybe want these without the pocket, they have those as well. So I really liked these. I stuck with a size six because once again, postpartum, I'm still a little bit bigger. My size fours are definitely a little bit more tight and just not as comfortable on me. They squeeze me on my waist a little bit. So I think size sixes are going to be my new true size for leggings aside from aligned pants, just because those are so light compression. I, I seem to be like I'm kind of in between sizes in those and the fours still fit really well. Next day, them up is definitely not new to me, the Groove Pant. I absolutely love these when they brought these back, whatever, a few years ago now. I snagged a black pair and then they were sold out for a long time and that was even before the Flare Pant was coming back in style. The Flare Cut is definitely back and thriving. People are loving it. And I thought this color was beautiful and perfect for going into fall. The one thing, even though this is the Nulu material and you just heard me say, I typically wear a four in my aligned pants because this has the stitching around the waistband and it does make them a little bit tighter. This is also a super high rise versus the regular high rise. This cuts in a little bit more on me. So I got a size six in these rather than getting a four. And the waistband fits better in the six, but I think the legs fit better in a size four. So I, I feel like I'm between sizes right now in these, which is a little unfortunate because I do love these a lot. I can definitely still wear these because I wear them more as like a lounge pant, day-to-day -day pant. I'm not working out in these by any means. I feel like a four probably fits me a little bit better overall, but waistband wise, the six is currently more comfortable, so. I'm just kind of in between right now and, and that's okay. But they, obviously they have that big flare cut at the bottom. They have the super high rise and then they have a little pocket detail in the back and then just some minimal stitching along the back. And yeah, groove pants, oldie but a goodie. So comfortable, the new material is so buttery soft and comfortable, which is why I basically love all things new Lou. Last but definitely not least for the bottoms, and then we will move on to accessories because I actually have four this time. These I was so excited to try and review for you. These are the Brushed Soft Stream High Rise Slim Leg Pant 31 inch. 
that is a mouthful. The main thing I was getting asked about with these and what a lot of you wanted me to review was the overall length and if you think you could get them hemmed. For like shorter ladies, if you wanted to try to wear these and get them hemmed, if you would lose this little slit at the bottom. The slit is a little bit bigger than I thought it would be and I feel like these actually I would have preferred them a little bit longer, I feel, with just the way that they hit on my waist. Um, I didn't really have any extra material on the ground. It was kind of hitting perfectly at the ground. I actually like there to be a little bit more, so when I put shoes on, then it lifts it up. Personal preference, um, if you've tried their soft stream material, just like the other jacket I reviewed, it is that like peach fuzz feel on the outside. And I have another pair of pants, they're more Oh gosh, it's a flare pant. I think they still have those. I'll put a picture on the screen. I already have tried those and loved those. I got a size six in those as well. So I knew these were gonna fit really well. I was just kind of more curious about how the straight leg would look and then how the little slit would look on the side. And I thought this was really cute. Instead of having a tie, they have this little cinch draw cord up there. It's very minimal, which I think is really flattering. And overall, I liked these a lot. Definitely a very cute, straight sweatpant look. And then once again, I'm a fan of all of their soft stream items. I did hear a lot of people saying that they had issues getting like water stains on there when they first came out with the soft stream material. I've personally never had that issue, but it actually lists it in their care instructions now and says that if you see that, running it through a wash should take should take care of that. So that shouldn't be an issue anymore. I honestly think with these, if you're between sizes or you just wanna have a more oversized fit, you could easily size up because it's obviously more of like a lounge pant and I think they would still look super cute. Yeah, but size six fit really well and I thought these were really cute. I'm a huge fan of the navy color in the sweatpants. Accessories, we have four of them. First things first is the Wonderlust belt bag. Apparently the Everywhere belt bag has become very, very popular and is in high demand, I believe because of TikTok. So it's kind of, not kind of, it is very difficult to get your hands on an Everywhere belt bag right now. It seems like they've had this Wonderlust belt bag in stock a few different times. So I wanted to try it and just kind of compare it to the other one. Size wise to the Everywhere belt bag, this looks a little bit thinner, but honestly, the size looks very similar. The top zipper is hidden under this little flap and the inside looks the same as the Everywhere belt bag. You have the mesh pockets on the side. This one has two and then you have a big one over here and then you have this front zip pocket. So this is great. I thought this pink color was really cute, but they have also had this available in black. The black obviously sells out a little bit more, but I actually ordered a second one of these. So I know they're hard to get your hands on. If you like this one, we'll do a little giveaway. Comment anything down below. And as long as you're subscribed to my channel, I will pick a winner to win the second bag of this that I purchased. Just as a little thank you for all the support and always showing me so much love on these videos and even allowing me to do these videos. So comment down below. As long as you're subscribed, you will get entered to win the Wonderlust belt bag in this beautiful color because I ordered two as a thank you. Next up, we have this really cute tumbler. I could not pass up this color. It is definitely more pink in person than I thought it was gonna be. I was expecting it to be more red, but still really cute. It is the Back to Life Tumbler 24 inch. So it is insulated and then it has this little lifted straw. All of my favorite tumblers have this straw option. I think it's so nice um, and there's not much to say about a tumbler. All of Lululemon's water bottles are really good at keeping your water cold for a long time. Chris and I both have, I have the 24 ounce and he has the bigger version. Maybe it's 36, I'm not sure. But the one with the twist top, I use those all the time and I thought this would be cute to have as well. I have a water bottle addiction. It is what it is. So adding this to the collection because it's so cute and I love the ones that have that little straw on there. Very cute, they have this in multiple colors, but I thought this one was adorable. And then last but definitely not least, Lululemon has been coming out with a lot more accessories recently. They have bands, they have sliders, and now they have three different size hair clips. The only one I didn't get, they have these really tiny ones, I think, and it comes in a pack of three. I know I would never wear those. These, however, this is gonna be the one I wear the most. Love that they're coming out with these and I wanted to try them. These were also one of the top items in my little comment box asking what you wanted me to try. So we have the large claw hair clip and the medium claw hair clip. This is obviously their biggest one and I think this will be great for 
little demonstration. That's how that one looks. Love it. This one, if you have thinner hair, this might be big enough, but for me, I don't think it will be. However, it would be good to do like half up or half down. Well, actually, just kidding. Somehow it actually holds all of my hair. This one's obviously gonna do a better job, but I, once again, if you wanted to do like a little half up, half down look, I have no idea how this looks, but definitely a good size. And then once again, they have those tiny little clips, but I was excited to try this because it is very cute. Is it a necessity? Definitely not. It is an accessory. <laughs> but so many of you wanted to see these. That is gonna be it for the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully I got to most of the items you wanted to see. If you have any questions, comment down below or reach out to me on Instagram, probably my Closet by Kel account. The items I don't always get to on YouTube, I at least review on my Closet by Kel account. So if you wanna see something, let me know, message me on there even. I always post the weekly drops on there. And once again, the random little try-ons and reviews in between these YouTube videos. I will see you in the next video.